Dear students, uh, we have studied various uh, types of research designs that we use in quantitative research methodology. Uh, we have also studied the process of uh, conducting quantitative research. Now we are entering into our next uh, section of this course, which is quantitative data analysis. And in order to do the quantitative data analysis, we have to learn uh, any kind of software that helps us in to do the data analysis. In this course, we are going to learn a statistical package for social sciences uh, for this purpose. A statistical package for social sciences, which is also called SPSS, is a widely used software. If I uh, uh, talk about the SPSS, SPSS is a kind of a soft software that enables the researcher to enter the data or export the data in the software and this uh, uh, provides uh, the opportunity to the researcher to analyze the data on a uh, descriptive form and in an inferential form as well. This software is actually uh, developed by the IBM corporation and the first uh, version of this software was introduced in 1968. The latest version of this software is SPSS 29, which is released in 2022. This software is widely used in uh, behavioral sciences, social sciences, management sciences, and uh, many other uh, disciplines like uh, public health, nursing sciences, and etc. If I talk about the layout of SPSS, uh, SPSS utilize multiple types of windows or screen in its basic operations. There are two basic windows. One is called data editor and the second one is called the output viewer. Uh, other windows include syntax editor, pivot table editor, chart editor and text output editor. We are going to see these uh, windows one by one. The main window of this software is the data editor. In data editor, we have two interfaces. One is called data view and the second one is called variable view. In data view, we actually enter the data of the cases or the respondents and in variable view, we actually enter the information of the variables. So this window provides drop down measures menus that allows you to modify and analyze the data. If I talk about the output view, this is the simple picture or the uh, layout of the output view in which whenever you perform any command in SPSS, that command actually saved in this uh, view, uh, view and you can edit various uh, kind of functions through this uh, view as well.